Hello, and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about something new to Acumatica 2022 R1, and that is the mobile app. The mobile app has been given a facelift for the home screen, and there's a lot more flexibility for configuring it the way you do business. So let's log in here. And you can see up front, the main screen is completely revamped. We used to have blue tiles here showing all the different menu options. First thing you could see is recently visited. It shows where we've been in the mobile app, different contacts and orders and documents. So similar to the history screen we have here in the web of Acumatica. And the other thing you see is the workspace is down below. So Acumatica has created these workspaces so that you can get to your menu items a lot easier. And lastly, what we see is the ability to add a KPI. We'll look at this in a moment. First, let's take a look at our workspaces. So to get started, you see over here, there's an ellipse you can reorder your workspaces. So you can come in here and you could say, oh, I want to move this down a little bit and reorder your menu items. So that's nice. But moreover, if we go back to the web of Acumatica and we search for mobile workspaces, you can see there's a new area to configure this for all your employees. So if we go back, you can see all of our workspaces that are visible here on the home page of the mobile app. Now you can come in here, you can add additional workspaces if you want to. So you can pick something that's important to your company, say services. And if we go back and we refresh and we scroll down, you can now see that services workspace in there. So that's great. We have the ability to do that. But additionally, if we click into, for example, time and expenses, you could see the workspaces menu items. So again, if we go back and we click on time and expenses, you could see all of the different screens under this workspace. And also notice that Acumatica has given us the ability to not just go into expense claims and then search, but we've added the new button here. So if I need to add a new expense claim, I can click plus without having to go into the screen and then create new. So this is a time saver. But you can go in here and you can add additional items as well. You can remove items. So let's say, for example, in this workspace, I want checks and payments. Now, of course, you can't get to checks and payments unless you have the rights. But the ability to add these different screens is a really major upgrade in Acumatica because prior to this, we'd have to go into the customization window and create a customization and go into the mobile area where essentially we were configuring a mobile XML file. Now also notice the widgets panel. So this gives us the ability to add different dashboards. So maybe we want the AP clerk on this time and expenses workspace. So you can add the dashboard and then over here, add the widget from the dashboard, or maybe bills to pay. And if we save it, we go back. You can see now we have bills to pay here. So this is really cool. Also, additionally, the end user has the ability to add KPIs. They have the rights to them. So clicking over here, you can see all the different widgets throughout the system. And you can click the star button to add it as your favorite. And when we go back, you can now see that KPI. Something else that's been added here is our global search. So you now have the ability to search through transactions and menu items. So Acumatica let you search through menu items that are part of the mobile app. They're part of what's been configured here. So for example, if you're looking for accounts, you can type that and you can see the results immediately. If you're looking for some transactions, 
can also do that and Acumatica's fast search will return the records that you're looking for. Additionally, Acumatica's added a favorites option. So this is split up by two things. You have records and screens, just like in the search bar. So records are things that you can add when you have the record open. You could do this two ways. If you find a transaction that you like, so if we go to home, maybe time and expenses, expense receipts, we'll open one up. We can add this record to favorites and we can close it. And now when we go back to favorites and we refresh, you can now see your expense receipt here. Now this works with Acumatica's web app. So if you click on your recently visited here, you can now see that favorite record has shown up over here. Additionally, if you're looking to add a screen while you're under the home button and you start to navigate through menu items, so let's say business accounts, so I go to the business accounts area all the time, I can click on the ellipse and add this screen to the favorites. Go back and we go to our screen favorites and refresh. You can now see business accounts here as well. So these are some great upgrades the Acumatica mobile app has undergone. The ability to add KPIs, the ability to see recently visited, the ability to configure your workspaces and your screen items underneath, to be able to globally search, not just through transactions, but through your menu items, and also to configure your favorites, the things that you commonly use, so you don't have to hunt around for them, whether it's a screen or a record, you can find these things quickly. So that's the Acumatica mobile app. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And have a great day.